In addition to dogs and cats, there are many people who have parrots as pets. Parrots are very intelligent birds with the average IQ around 30. But depending on learning, they can have the intelligence of a four to five year old child and are smart enough to recognize their own appearance and even use tools. In particular, the biggest characteristic of parrots is that they imitate human speech. This is possible because the structure of their mouth and throat is similar to that of humans. I also saw an overseas topic where a parrot that went missing after its owner accidentally left its cage door open was able to return home by telling the police its home address. How awesome and adorable parrots are. So let's kick off today's hour on Radio Clock with size Se Bird. Biatch. No doubt. 당신 너무나 이쁜 당신 항상 나 당신을 향해 행진 언제 거꾸로 신을지 몰라 고무신 후배도 너무 귀여운 당신 당신의 텅빛 머릿속에 꽉찬 있는 담배 연기 아무데서 나 담배를 피는 용기 아무데서 나 화장을 고치는 굳은 심지 그러면서 남의 시선 남의 이목 남의 크고 작은 목소리 되게 신경 쓴 당신 좋지만 얄밉고 이쁘지만 열받게 군 당신은 세뇨리다 남들이다 모래도 나 당신만을 따라가리다 당신은 나만의 모나리자 Come on in, besties. Yeah. Welcome back to Radio Clock, everybody. It is February 21st, Wednesday, and I'm your host, DJ Ashley. Welcome back. Um, yeah, so it is the middle of the week, and we just got two more days till the weekend, so hope you guys are hanging in there. It's been fairly, um, very gloomy in Korea the past couple of days it's hailing today it was raining all day yesterday so yeah feeling a bit under the weather but I hope the weather is beautiful where you are um, 
Uh, Gig Diggy s- says, Sai went with colorful for the song's lyrics, didn't he? And he also mentioned that parrots cannot be used to testify in court. Um, yeah, cool fact. I did not know. Probably because you can kind of like brainwash parrot and teach them to say whatever you want it to say, right? Is that is that why? Anyways, let me read a message from one of our besties today. Okay. Um, it is from... Gary H. Hello, Miss AM Production Crew. Radio airs at 1 a.m. here in Kentucky, so I only get to watch what is uploaded to YouTube.com or Arirang.com. There are no Tuesday or Thursday episodes. Please upload those episodes as well. Thursday, Music Lab, we definitely upload Music Lab, don't we? Yeah, Thursday shows get uploaded. Uh, Tuesday... Tuesday shows get uploaded too sometimes. No, unfortunately. But um, yeah, maybe we can have them up again. <laughs> But yeah, Thursday episodes, they are up. So you can watch all of them there. And Gary says, who picks out your show clothing attire? Ashley, whomever is dressing you, they're doing a great job. <laughs> oh, I want I want to thank me for dressing me. I want to thank myself for dressing me. Thank you. Um, I pick out my own clothes. Gary H says, I personally like your tomboy look. Hey, then you must like my look today. I'm wearing a hoodie that says seeps, can't be bothered. Apparently in Australia, seeps means, that's what it means. Seeps, can't be bothered. I think, I think. Um, anyways. Gary says, who writes the opening monologue script at the beginning of the show? Our writers do. We have three talented writers. Also, who is that lady that signals for you to start talking? The lady that does the arm chop signal. Let's give her a shout out to her as well. That is our producer, Jessica. Uh, she is the one that signals you know, when for me to go in. I'd like to make a song request dedicated to Ashley Tomboy Choi, G Idol's Tomboy. Best regards, Gary Lee. Thank you, Gary. I hope we I satisfied some of your curiosity. And let's go listen to the song you've requested. And I'll be back with Iris for Koreapedia. This is Idol's Tomboy. <laughs> Look at you, no more gum dung and lar. You took off hook, keep putting cold white brew. Look, my toe, my accident tattoo. I got two drink up now, nigga, shit, I had to do a This ping pong, I would rather film a TikTok. You're my worst as a prince, but this is Queen Dom, right? I like to dance, I love my friends. Sometimes it's where we don't take a rest. I like to act, I'm drinking whiskey, I won't change it. What the hell? Meeting Toe, eat a muddy, what's the look to me? Saddam, no, she's she, but I go, you look to me. Saddam, you got the tongue, and then you're in the way, I'm bound with all your mobs. Yeah, no, yeah, turn the mind and miss the last year, fine. Yeah, I'm tomboy.
Download the Arirang Radio application. Type in A R I R A N G. Arirang Radio on your App Store. Download it and listen to Arirang Radio. 88.7 in Jeju City. 88.1 in Seogukpo City. 101.9 in the Daejeon area. Channel 144 on Sirius XM in the US Arirang Radio. Tune in Arirang Radio. about something. Monday about what? You know, in Korea. Oh, say no more. You know what we need? Korea Pedia. Iris, hello. Hi Welcome guys. back to Radio Clock. Oh my gosh, I'm home. I feel so comfortable. Definitely this morning, I was feeling comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that you're coming home. Yes, I'm in the hands of DJ Ashley, which meant that I didn't have to do a good job in this seat. Excuse I don't me? Have you any, still have to do no, a good job? What are you I don't have about? any pressure on my shoulders. Ashley's got my back. Mm -mm. Sturdy and handy, Ashley. Mm -mm. This is strictly 50-50 <laughs> right here. Today is just you 50, me 50. Mm, I'm not sure about that. Mm. Well, um, good job. You did a great job. Oh my job. gosh. But it was really, well, all of our besties were there. So it was really nice. Aww. And it didn't, like, although I was in another setting, because all the names I could, like, recognize everybody, mm -hmm. it felt... It felt very nice, and I wasn't, like, intimidated, so... Yeah. Merci, guys! Yeah, our yeah. besties definitely made you feel more comfortable yeah, and at home. Yeah, and our besties were training the newcomers, saying, if you're new, you gotta tell her she's pretty. That's the <laughs> rule here. <laughs> oh my god, they know you yeah. so well. Yeah, they know me too oh my well. Gosh. Geek yeah. Diggy says, yeah, they know you so well, because Geek Diggy was like, Iris, you've been doing a lot of radio lately. You must have slept pretty well these last few days. And oh that's what gosh. I said too. I was like, yeah. so have you been sleeping well? Yeah, definitely. There was not a single day where I was like up for a long time. Mm -hmm. Like I was just sleeping, sleeping. Mm. But that was pretty nice. That was very human like for me. <laughs> I was like getting up and actually like working and going to sleep. Yeah. Very human like. Oh my god. Yeah. So what was uh, what was your biggest takeaway from hosting the show for three days? I mean, yeah. Mm, well, I learned that I have to be serious sometimes. And I tried really, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but I tried really hard to tone down my, like, irisness. Does uh -huh. that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm so pretty, I'm so cute. Yeah, I didn't stuff. say that at all. Uh, yeah, thank like, goodness you did not. Did I? I don't think I did in my memory. I was never like, oh my gosh, guys, blah, blah, Because when I'm at Radio Clock, it feels like I, I'm i allowed to be all like, guys, blah, 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 blah. Because, like, you know, I feel so comfortable with their listeners now. Yeah. But out there, I was I was like, okay, girl, I got to be responsible. People might not know you as well as besties do. Mm -hmm. And they might, like, misunderstand. So I wasn't, you know... But I'm back here, which means I can be my spoiled brat-like self again. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, Brian also says yes, but we like your irisness. Aww, Brian, thank can you. you say I like your irisness, <laughs> not we? Because I, I don't want, I'm not a part of that. Um, but yes, Brian likes your irisness. Mercy. But yeah, welcome back home. Yes, thank you. Well, I, I'm, I hope you find another way to continue this good sleeping schedule. Um, 
Mm, yeah. <laughs> you'll, yeah. You'll find something one day. Yeah, one yeah. day. Okay, well, today on Koreapedia, what are we talking about? Today on Koreapedia, we're going to be talking about... The origins of K-food. The origins of mm -hmm. K-food. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, we get to hear some behind stories of how some dishes were created. Yes, Ooh. how they were birthed, okay. where they were birthed. All right. Okay. Firstly, it's very cold in Korea, right? Mm, it's so cold today. I thought winter was yeah. over, but it's, it's not. It's like snow raining. Yes, it's mm. hailing. It's yeah, that's what? the word. <laughs> Snow raining. <laughs> I yeah. thought you knew. You just wanted yeah, to yeah, say yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and this dish is peculiar enough. Not really the dish people find on weathers like this. Mm -hmm. It's more of like the hot steaming days where Koreans. Very weird, but I kind of understand where it comes from. Mm. This dish we're gonna talk about is called samgyetang, also known as ginseng chicken soup. Ooh. So samgyetang is like a very clear white soup stew with a whole chicken in the middle. Yes. That is a samgyetang. And inside this dish, there's glutinous rice inside the chicken, mm -hmm. usually. It's stuffed. Yeah, it's stuffed with rice. And also there's ginseng, dates, and also chestnuts. Mm. Oh, I'm craving this now. I haven't had this in a while. Exactly. It's I think I had it last summer. Really? Yeah. Actually, I think so too. Yeah. Because you know on the hottest day of the year, you're supposed to have uh, samgyetang because yeah. it's good food. It fuels your body. Mm -hmm. It's fighting heat with heat. Yep. Uh, but since then, I haven't had it either. Hmm. Huh. So yeah, this is samgyetang. And samgyetang is said to have originated from this thing called like takbeksuk, which is like a similar thing, just another name, which it which means whole chicken soup, mm -hmm. and it started it started in the Three Kingdoms period up to the Joseon Dynasty, and in the early 1900s, this takbeksuk was a home cooked meal mm -hmm. where they used powdered ginseng instead of oh. a whole ginseng uh -huh. and then they started officially making it into a more fancy restaurant sellable menu and they named it ke sam tang so mm. it was takbeksuk and then it was ke sam tang mm -hmm. and now it's samgye tang oh. so yeah they changed the powdered ginseng and put in real ginsengs in restaurants and started selling that and yeah that became today's samgye tang yeah i mean insam is one of the specialty food of korea food or like um ingredient of korea so i think that's also why a lot of foreigners are interested in samgyetang because mm -hmm. it's a very korean dish mm -hmm. yeah. it's packed with nutrients it's pretty high in calorie although i did not think that what but because it's just chicken exactly so, but i guess the rice the, <laughs> the rice and also mm. the these soups if you think about it right if you drink all of it it might be. What, who thinks about that? This yeah. is, you know, it's, it's good, good for, for you. you. It's a lot of protein. A whole chicken in your body mm -hmm. is probably more protein than what's needed in one day. But it's good. Yeah. And also the first restaurant to ever start selling the samgyetang was called the Ko mm, Samgyetang. And this place is the first place that actually crossed the leg legs oh. of the chicken to uh -huh. make sure that the ingredients stayed inside like the stuffings uh -huh. which was a very smart thing to do crossing oh. crossing the chicken legs yeah oh my god yeah they make it into an x yeah oh wow do they use something to tie it up or it, 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 they just cross the legs and it stays like that it's like it's different for some places uh -huh. i've seen some places like tie it up with like edible thread yeah and i've seen some places slit like a part of the leg and uh -huh. putting the other leg through that slit oh yeah just like i think you can see that it's like put inside yeah. the other leg just to yeah. make ourselves clear guys we're talking about chicken <laughs> um so if you're just tuning in and you're guys are like yeah. what are they talking about yeah we're talking about chickens mm -hmm. all right what other food should we talk about Next, we're going to talk about another warming, hot, steaming stew dish, and it's called pudejige. Pudejige, or also known as like sausage stew. A lot of foreigners love pudejige, I realized, and oh. I, I can kind of 
understand that after reading about where it came from. This is what puddejjigae looks like. This is usually before it's cooked, and then you put the broth in, and then it starts cooking, and then it becomes this ready, pasty stew with a bunch of ingredients inside. There's a kimchi stew base to start off with, and then there's also things like ham, sausage, bacon, minced beef, and baked beans. I've seen people put in a lot of stuff. There's also glass noodles, veggies, and like minced garlic, tofu. Yeah, you can put in pretty much anything, but I feel like all the time there's always ham and like sausage. Mm-hmm. Because Pudejjigae started in Uijongbu, which is an area in Korea, and there was a elderly like grandmother that had a small store in Uijongbu. And as you guys know, Uijongbu is where the U.S. military base is mm-hmm. in Korea, and because of that, there were more like there were they had more access to overseas ingredients mm. like canned ham or sausage or baked beans mm-hmm. and that's how they started combining these ingredients together and they created this pudejjigae that came from Uijongbu. <gasps> have you ever tried pudejjigae with baked beans in it? Yeah, you I have. have. I actually have. Cuz I can't really imagine the two together cuz the broth is very like kimchi stew, it's mm-hmm, very Korean mm-hmm. and then baked beans is a very foreign thing right. and then B- baked beans being in like kimchi flavored stew i can't quite grasp what that's like but did you like it it didn't it wasn't really strong oh. so it was just beans okay so it didn't feel too you know poppy or uh-huh. unique so yeah it was fine it just tastes like just beans in food it's like it just imagine it no i can't <laughs> that's why i'm asking you no it's it was okay <laughs> but mm. i feel like nowadays it's true that people don't put like as much as beans inside food it's like it. uh-huh Yeah, it's usually just like the ham, canned ham and sausage. Although I do not like eating the sausage in pudejjigae. Why not? I just don't like sausage. Wait, like the um like spam sausage or like the actual sausage? I like the ham, oh. but I don't like pre-made like sausagey sausage. I don't you know? like those either. Yeah, so yeah. I don't really I don't like that those. layer outside. Oh, you know like what the I mean? skin it's, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really like the taste of that. Mm, mm. But anyways, yeah, Uijongbu even has a pudejjigae festival. They're mm-hmm. very serious about pudejjigae. They love pudejjigae so much. So if you're close to Uijongbu, it might be a good opportunity to check out pudejjigae chukje, the festival for pudejjigae. Mm-hmm. All right, what's the next food we're going to talk about? Next food, it's so popular. Literally, probably one of the most popular things in Korea. like made from korea made mm-hmm. in korea and it is bibimbap 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 is basically you mix rice with anything you want especially veggies a lot of the times there's like spinach bre- bean sprout uh, zucchinis you put egg in it you put like radish pickled radish what else do you put in mm, raw beef a lot of the time Yeah, it depends on what topping you get. Yes, like the topping varies and I know a lot of people love this. It's especially a very loved menu for a lot of vegetarians mm. um visiting Korea. It's one of like the easiest like menus you can get that is like either vegan or like vegetarian. And this bibimbap, um, it's said that it's it was one of the foods that was prepared for the kings. That's like one of the sayings they have. And apparently they used to call it the bibimsu back then. Bibim means like to mix, guys. So yeah. it's like mixing pop. Uh-huh. Up, mixing rice. Um, there's also a saying that it's one of the food for the ancestral rites that we put on like our little rituals. during like the years and the holidays and it's also a very easy dish to make mm. so it was one of the go-to menus that people would have during farming season where they could just sit down and have it in one bowl mm. and it's also very delicious and filling mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and like we mentioned before there are many different kinds of bibimbap bibimbap normal bibimbap is just vegetables with maybe like a fried egg on top mm-hmm. but there's something like uh jeonju bibimbap yeah 
yes, Cheonju bibimbap. The rice is cooked in beef broth for this, and it's topped with bean sprouts and seasoned raw beef. Oh my yum, gosh, yum yum. yum. <gasps> I do you like raw beef? Yes, I do. I love raw beef. I That's love yuk bibimbap. That's so good. very surprising. Why? Because you don't like a lot of things. <laughs> mm, why That's ra- true. Oh, raw beef. That's okay. true. Okay. Uh, there's also something called Jinju bibimbap, which is topped with green bean sprouts and seasoned beef tartare. And then there's Tongyang bibimbap. Tongyang is like more of like this beachy, like seafoody <laughs> place. <laughs> yes, it's so, in one of the southern regions. Yes. So they top it with raw seaweed and hijik hijikia tot in Korean. Oh. Tot. So I feel like the texture would be really nice Maybe with like all the seaweed. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Mm-hmm. I never tried the Tongyang bibimbap. Because I've never been to Tongyang, but oh, yeah. I do want to try. I think the most popular kind or like the most well known right now that you could get in Korea is the Cheonju bibimbap, which yeah originated in Cheonju. In 1952, there was a restaurant that started selling this Cheonju bibimbap, and it's still like ongoing. The restaurant they also have a lot of chains in Seoul. I've been to the one in Seoul, oh, and I've had their bibimbap there. Uh huh. Yeah, so that's. That's very interesting. They have like this, uh, like those brassware, like yes, the fancy looking plates. Mm-hmm. They're use. very heavy and very sturdy. Very heavy. And apparently they're like, they can antibacterialize and stuff. Oh. Yeah. That's why it's like expensive and also fancy. Yeah. So you can eat, like eat it clean. <gasps> That's so cool. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, yeah. But you still have to wash it. Of yeah. course, yeah. Yeah. It's not of course. Wash it, so, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Jenga says, "LOL, I'm eating pimi pop now. <gasps> Mine had a fried egg on top. It's gone though. Lucky. I always get an extra fried egg. Oh, really? Yeah, protein. I love fried eggs. <laughs> um, Geek Diggy says, "Rice cooked in beef broth. I can dig that." Yeah, mm. I had no idea they yeah. cooked it in beef broth. Probably flavorful. Mm. Lee Gaia says, "Chicken bibimbap." Yes, there's also chicken bibimbap. There is. I'm sure. I, I think they have all kinds of food. Yeah, yeah. You can, you you can, can just, just make your it. own. Whatever ingredient you have inside, mm-hmm. just whip it up. You put it in this big dish, mix it up, and eat it. Oh, with gochujang and chamgirim. <gasps> oh. So good. All right. We need a song break. I'm getting very hungry. Let's go listen to a song by After Shaving, which was <laughs> Jung Juna, Yun Jung Shin, and After School's Yongge Baeksuk, Chicken Baeksuk.
You guys are listening to Radio Clock. Today on Koreapedia, we're talking about the origins of K-food. Mm-hmm. We talked about samgyetang, we mentioned bibimbap, we mentioned, what else did we mention? What was the other one we mentioned? We mentioned budejjigae. Budejjigae, yes. yes. And we're going to talk about some easy food now. Mm-hmm. Easy food. We also have a demonstration this time. Oh we my have- gosh, we have food <gasps> today. Yay! Whoa, I will show you guys in like <gasps> four seconds. Oh my gosh. Four, we, it's been a while since we had exactly. food. Exactly. Mm. So this is the dish we have. Whoa. Is that what we're talking about? <gasps> you guys know what this is? The one on the bottom is kerampang, egg bread. Uh-huh. And what's the one on top? It is corn cheese toast. Corn cheese toast. And this is our drink for today. Ooh. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's talk about kerampang first. Egg bread. Uh huh. It's a popular street food in Korea. And it's especially loved during the winter time. Yes. Mm-hmm. They sell it on the streets a lot. And kerampang is a type of pulpang, which is bread made by pouring thin flour dough and like bean jam, etc., into like a mold and like just baking it as you saw the shape of the kerampang was very circular and pretty Mm -hmm. they put a whole egg in there so Mm -hmm. nutrition uh, (laughs) nutrition nutrition but also very very yummy Mm -hmm. i love eggs so i love this snack it's very sweet it's like a sweet type of bread. Mm-hmm. And we've tried making kerampang as well. Oh gosh, like, don't remind me. Yeah, but I'm just saying, I'm glad we have our own little kerampang. Mm-hmm. 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 You want Smells your drink yummy. now and you can have it later? Okay, sure. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yes, so that's our kerampang. Do you want to taste it while I explain this kerampang? And you no, can ex- I want to taste it with with me you want to do that yeah i don't want to be the only one eating no go ahead i have some info to give them all right so this kerampang started in 1984 in incheon near ina university there was a small store near this university that started selling this specific kerampang and they started making this because apparently they realized that a lot of university students did not like red bean paste inside these Bang Mm -hmm. breads. So yeah, so they started putting in egg instead. And it's actually still like they're still selling the kerampang at the same place. And up to now, it's still chonon for one kerampang. What? Exactly. Like considering like like the 1001. 1001. That's less than one USD, guys. That is insane. And this is is Look, this is pretty big too. It's filling. It's filling, yeah. It's very filling. There's a whole egg in there. Uh, the top layer, there's cheese and like mayo and mm-hmm. um, what is this green? Parsley. Parsley. Is it good? It's so good. And it's on the sweeter side, right? Yes, but mm. we love sweet stuff. Let so. me try it. Um, if you go to like Myeongdong, all the very uh, popular touristy areas, they sell these. Mm. Um, but the touristy areas might be a little bit more expensive. Mm-hmm. I did see that this some places sold this for two thousand one, mm-hmm. but the original place they're still selling it for one thousand one. Even in twenty twenty three, that's a little insane. For forty years, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it's been yeah because they started in nineteen eighty four. Wow, <gasps> wow, wow, wow. Well, I hope they last. 50, 60, 80 years. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, next we're going to talk about another beloved uh, snack, popular snack. Or Very popular. Yes, it is fried chicken, but spicy, seasoned fried chicken. Yangnyeom chicken. So fried chicken isn't like Korean, Korean fried chicken itself, but we can say proudly that yangnyeom chicken, which is like red. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that picture is so Oh my god. That is they did a very good job. Mm-hmm. It's like sweet and spicy and sticky. Like the paste is very kind of like sticky. And it's just so very good. It's yeah. one of like 
When you think of like older chicken, like in Korea, we say like yenar chicken. You just immediately think of this red chicken wrapped in like tin foil in a yes. box, and then you would rip the tin foil, use that as the <laughs> kind of tissue to hold it, uh, hold the chicken, so you don't get the red sauce on your hand. I remember my dad would rip it off, and then he would life give me hack. the drumstick and be <laughs> like, oh, "I'm so loved. I love mm-hmm. my life." Uh, but this came to existence in 1980. 1980s, yes. Yeah. And the paste is actually a mix of pepper paste, corn syrup, soy sauce, garlic, spring onion, and more. I feel like nowadays the sauces are very like different. They like put other things in it as well. So you have to try hard to find like the OG style like paste Mm. og style season so when like a restaurant sells like the old style like yang yum chicken they get famous for that because people were like oh yeah this is what it actually tasted like Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the person who invented uh seasoned fried chicken actually created the chicken radish as well which goes perfectly with chicken because if you eat the seasons uh fried chicken Mm -hmm. it can get a little greasy and a little like oh my too gosh much. that so person is a genius something because i can't live without the chicken exactly. radish exactly oh my gosh where it is stinks this a little it stinks a little but it's so good because like the combination pickles. Yes, the combination yeah. is amazing. Fermented, yes. yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you to the creator <laughs> of Young Yum Chicken and Chicken Radish. Thank you so much. Okay, now can we talk about this drink? People yes. think it's chocolate milk, but it's not chocolate we milk. We can talk about this drink. This is instant coffee, also known as mixed coffee in Korea. So this is a type of instant coffee that was first made in 1976 in Korea. And it's not the like type of instant coffee you guys think of. It has a taste to this that is very distinctive. It's actually instant black coffee mixed with sugar and powdered cream. And all you have to do is mix with water. It actually mixes in cold water as well. Mm-hmm. I did not know this was like very famous or popular or like you know a thing in korea but so many people from overseas when they come to korea buy boxes of these didn't i tell you i bought like 400 packets when this time when i went to new york to bring back for (gasps) my mom and my aunties really i mean they're they're available in america as well because korean markets in america do sell them but they don't have as many kinds as we do here in korea and in korea we have so many different types of Mm -hmm. instant mixed coffees and it's a lot cheaper here so we brought it back um to describe the taste it's sweet it's strong it's it's not very milky Dude, it's like, you know, you've tried coffee ice cream, right? That's yeah. exactly what this tastes like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that really is. Mm. And it's like, there's a lot of like packets of these at restaurants for people to like just have on the way out. It's very good and it's very, it's, yeah, anybody would like it. But Honestly, also it's strong. So It is strong and uh-huh. it's not, Um, it's got sugar in it. So mm-hmm. doctors advise to not drink more than like, two cups of these i mean um, for adults i tell my grandma to just drink regular <laughs> black coffee and not this that's, but that's not it's sweet. a guilty pleasure yeah. adults korean adults it's a guilty pleasure for them after the meal they have to have a cup mm-hmm. of this um but yes that is what we're drinking and it's delicious we're yeah. gonna talk about the toast mm-hmm. i guess after we come back from a song break this is changgyeo orguldu kia and the faces with saguryeo coffee cheap coffee싸구려 커피를 마신다 미지근해 적잖이 속이 쓰려온다 눅눅한 비닐 장판에 발바닥이 쩍 달라붙었다 떨어진다 이제는 아무렇지 않아 바퀴벌레 한 마리쯤 슥 지나가도 무거운 매일 아침엔 다만 그저 약간의 기침이 멈출 생각을 않는다 축축한 이불을 캔다 비겁대는 문을 열고 밖에 나가본다 아 
아직 덜겐 하늘이 너무 가까워 숨쉬기가 쉽지 않다 수만 번본 것만 같다 어지러워 쓰러질 정도로 익숙하기만 하다 남은 것도 없이 텅빈 나를 잠든 나 싸구려 커피를 마신다 미지근해 적잖이 속이 쓰려온다 눅눅한 비닐 장판에 발바닥이 쩍하고 달라붙었다가 떨어진다 뭐한몇 년간 세수대야에 고여있는 물마냥 그냥 완전히 썩어가지고 이건 뭐 감각이 없어 비가 내리면 처마 밑에서 쭈그리고 앉아서 멍하니 그냥 가만히 보다 보면은 이건 뭔가 아니다 싶어 비가 그쳐도 희금으로 죽죽한 척에 하늘이라고 머리 위를 뒤덮고 있는 건지 저건 뭔가 하늘이라고 하기에는 뭔가 너무 낮게 머리카락에 거의 닿게 조금만 뛰어도 정수리를 뿡 하고 지을 것 같은데 벽장 속 제습제는 벌써 꽉차 있으나 많아 목이 떨어졌다 번 피가 묻은 거울을 볼 때마다 어 약간 놀라 제멋대로 구부러진 칫솔 같다 이빨을 닦다 보면은 잇몸에 피가 나게 닦아도 당초에 치석은 빠져나올 줄을 몰라 언제 땄는지도 모르는 미지근한 콜라가 담긴 캔을 입에 가져가 한 모금 앞불사 담배 꽁초가 이제는 장판이 난지 내가 장판인지도 몰라 해가 뜨기도 전에 지는 이런 상황은 뭔가 싸구려 커피를 마신다 미지근해 적잖이 속이 쓰려온다 눅눅한 비닐 장판에 발바닥이 쩍 달라붙었다 떨어진다 이제는 아무렇지 않아 바퀴벌레 한 마리쯤 슥 지나가도 무거운 매일 아침엔 다만 그저 약간의 기침이 멈출 생각을 않는다 축축한 이불을 갠다 비겁대는 문을 열고 밖에 나가본다 아직 덜갠 하늘이 너무 가까워 숨쉬기가 쉽지 않다 수만 번본 것만 같다 어지러워 쓰러질 정도로 익숙하기만 하다 남은 것도 없이 텅빈 나를 잠든다 싸구려 커피를 마신다 미지근해 적잖이 속이 쓰려온다 눅눅한 비닐 장판에 발바닥이 쩍하고 달라붙었다가 떨어진다 That was Saguryeo Coffee, Cheap Coffee by Changgiha Olgurdil. Uh, Paulina says, I think the traditional instant coffee in Korea is, I can't say the brand name, <laughs> Mocha Gold Mild Coffee Mix, because all the Korean shops sell this and it's very popular here in London. Mm-hmm. Is that the yellow one? Yes. Okay, yeah, that's like the yeah. most popular and one. And the ratio, guys, it's really important. Because some people call oh. it like the Hangang, like the Han River. If you put too much water in it, it's so bland, of course. Yeah. So when people make you go, like, make the coffee, when they're like, oh, can you get me some? Like, can you make the coffee for me? Mm-hmm. Pro tip. Put a lot of water in it. They'll never make you do it again. <laughs> <laughs> also, just mess it up so they're yeah. like, she's a horrible coffee uh-huh. maker. Don't ever ask. It's hey, that's from a good experience. Tip. <laughs> yeah, it's a good tip. Yep. And you act like you tried your best. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now let's talk about corn cheese. Yes. Um, I showed you before. I'll show you once more because like, you can see the corn better in this kind of frame. Can we show them once more? Mm-hmm. Okay, so on this toast, you can see that there's like cheese and corn melted oh, together. Such a good combo. We are going to talk about just um, corn cheese in general, firstly. So corn cheese is straightforward. It's corn <laughs> and cheese, except mm-hmm. with mayonnaise and sometimes like sugar in it as well. Yeah. And then it's like kind of grilled 
Yes, mm-hmm, and sometimes like they use the torch, torch. on top. Ugh. This comes out as like an appetizer in many restaurants, especially like seafood restaurants. Yeah, but it's so small. Yeah, the portion. O- I always ask for another one. Mm-hmm, <laughs> always, it's very good, and also this is really good if you put it on top of like spicy noodles, like spicy ramyeon. Oh, really? I haven't yeah. tried without without the soup. You guys know like that brand, ah. like the very spicy brand. It's like they have a good combination. Cool. Mm-hmm. We love this corn cheese thingy. Yeah. Everybody loves it, and it's very easy to make. Mm-hmm. We mm. have it right here on toast this time, though. Yeah. Do I you have, have a regular? Corn? I have a regular keton toast. I have a regular egg toast. Oh, is this the only corn cheese we have? Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll cut you it up and enjoy we'll try it. it. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's also quickly mention heori gamja or tornado potato slash spiral baked potato. Mm-hmm. It's a potato cut into a shape of a tornado and then it's fried and then you put like sauce like powder cheese, powdered onion powder onion powder and then like ketchup mustard whatever you like and there's been like honey butter flavors as well or just like corn flavor and the person who made this actually was thinking of inventing a menu where they could use korean potatoes Mm. and then they were inspired by this like little machine that cut up persimmons dried persimmons by oh. spiraling them uh-huh. and that's how they got this idea of the spiraling shape tornado shape wow it's very good it started first in a small store in myeongdong mm-hmm. and then later on everybody starts selling it like at festivals too it's just a very popular street food it was mm. trendy for like quite some time yeah when i first moved to korea in 2011 and i met up with my cousin and she took me sightseeing in myeongdong this was one of the snacks that I tried. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. So this was everywhere back then. And you could kind of choose the uh, the powder, the flavors that you want to put on top. Mm-hmm. And not e- it's not just a street food anymore. You can find them at rest stops, on highways, at yeah. amusement parks, et cetera, et cetera. It's very good. I, I like it when they put like chili powder on them. Mm, chili chili powder. powder sounds good too. It's kind of hard to put liquidy sauces on this though because it keeps like if you pour it. Yeah. It goes through the holes, oh, the spaces yeah. in between. Uh-huh. So most of the time, you could check out like the powdered sauces to yeah. enjoy. So like yeah. this and corn cheese kind of look and sound like they would have been started in the U.S. Mm-hmm. But no, these dishes started out in Korea. We mm-hmm. don't know exactly when and where, but um, yes, it was it was originated in Korea. Yep. Very proud. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Also, there is kamja hot dog. Like the corn dogs, which started in Korea too. It's corn. It's like a corn dog, but then there's bits of potato like covering the corn dog. Mm. And then it makes it extra crispy that way. It's, you might think it's too chunky, but it's like really like fried, deep fried. So the, it's like small tater tots, you know. Yeah, but sometimes you have to be careful when you're eating this because your top of the, the top of the roof gets all scraped and <laughs> <laughs> it gets really um, sensitive because it's too crispy. Yeah, yeah, but it's worth it. It's worth it. It's very good. So good. Hungry now. I'm hungry too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, Geek Diggy says, "Wow, I was so sure those were miguk foods. Miguk foods. I know. It's hanguk foods <laughs> <laughs> with, I guess." collaboration yeah Yeah. it's a collab because i think mayonnaise probably originated in the states Mm -hmm. correct me if i'm wrong please mayonnaise um connoisseurs let me know (laughs) lovers (laughs) Lovers, of mayonnaise um, let us know the fact uh hazelnut says cheddar cheese powder slash onion powder i love onion powder Mm -hmm. um let's see uh peachy says 안녕하세요 두분 다 영어 너무 잘하시네요. 계속 힘내세요, 언니들. Thank you. 안녕하세요. Thank you so much. Okay, so out of everything we mentioned today, let's. Do you have a favorite? Uh, they're so different though. We talked about snacks as well as like meal meals. Mm-hmm. So for me, I think for me it's bibimbap if it has raw beef on top. Mm. I just love beef tartare. Okay. Yeah. How about you? I like bibimbap too. Like yeah. if I had to pick like a favorite food, it would have it would be bibimbap or it's, like kimbap because yeah. you can have so many different kinds and variety. And, and it's I so healthy. 
It is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. And it's very filling. It's, mm-hmm. And you have the freedom to put in whatever you want, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Okay, all right. It's time to say goodbye with our last song. This is Cheese by Gravity and Iris. I'll see you on Friday. Thanks for listening, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. Smile and cheer with me